the question now, who was this lone gunman and what do we know about his motive? We have just learned his identity tonight. And here's ABC's chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross. Federal authorities tonight identify the shooter as 29-year-old Gavin Eugene Long, a former Marine from Kansas City. Officers engaged the subject and he ultimately died at the scene. Police say it appeared to be a well-planned ambush. He had a mask on. One subject, all black, carrying AR. Right there, stop, stop, see you up, see you up, right there. In the wake of the police shooting of Alton Sterling in Baton Rouge, and then the deadly attack on police in Dallas by a man who wanted to kill everything blue that moves. Law enforcement in Baton Rouge had been put on alert last week by the FBI and Homeland Security for a possible attack. These threats are very viable and they're very real. This FBI bulletin from its New Orleans office, obtained by ABC News, showed images from social media and warned multiple groups are calling for or planning riots and or violence against law enforcement in Baton Rouge, Louisiana and Shreveport, Louisiana. I've been involved in law enforcement for over 30 years. I have never seen an environment this dangerous and this polarized uh, as it relates to police in this country. And Brian Ross is with us here tonight in Cleveland. And Brian, and looking at both of these cases in Dallas and now in Baton Rouge, it would appear that both of these gunmen had military backgrounds. That's right. This is a former Marine discharged in 2010. Today was his 29th birthday, David. All right. Our chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, with us here tonight. Brian, thank you.